all you fan freaking tastic people, it's your boy, MB Set, coming back with Final Fantasy 16, and the last video was very rough. Lots of dark destruction, deaths. So much happened. Unreal. It's just unreal. This game is unreal. It's great. It's fantastic. But, like, poor Sid. Does he survive? Like, I think he did, but, like, come on. We're, we're gonna pick it off ex exactly from where we left off but yeah it's not mm, it's not good Kusnes, the Dalmikian the finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. come come feel its softness Chocolate make a nice steaks, gift to your wife sausage, all from greens fed farm birds none of the old courses you'll find elsewhere here take a bite I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives, ungoods, ointments, you like, sir. Poultices, it's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, ungoods, ointments, poultices, palmatives, curatives, restoratives. They're yeah, holding down your, um... Ungoods, ointments, poultices. Your headwear there, or... I forgot how it's called. Can I take you in a potion, my lady? While holding it down. Soothing south to ease the aches of Not suspicious at all. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Mm-hmm. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives. Five years later. Whoa, it's been five years? It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? Sid? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Damn it all. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. Wow. Wow! Wow! Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, you're helping shit. us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> oh. 
is going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw. Sit here! Oh, we got lightning powers now! Song and it's elevated. Oh, oh. oh, I just got goosebumps. Mm. The bear is we are now safe. we are Sid's legacy. Mm. The power of thunder. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Ramu's essence. Attuning with Ramu not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Thunderstorm, which rains Levin bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Abilities de ability details are found on the abilities tab in the main menu. Ramu's iconic feat, Blind Justice, can be used to launch a barrage of ball lightning at up to nine targets determined by locking onto them. The lightning will help her remain affixed to a target and can be ignited by striking it. She dies! All right, let's take a look here. Oh, we can switch between the three of them? Can we? Oh, the music. Let me switch here. So we got Paul Drive. Drive Ramu's staff into the ground, electrifying all enemies with the radius. Yeah, and then we have the thunderstorm. Call for it a powerful thunderstorm that rains multiple boys of lightning down. Okay, okay. I want to try it out. Wait, how do I wait? How do I do this? No, wait. What am I doing wrong? How do I do it? Here. Right. And there. Right. Wait, so what do I do now? Oh, okay, circle again. Oh, nice. So it's kind of cool. To me, Blake. Wow. No <coughs> there. A lot. Titan senses with guards. <laughs> So cool. Enough of this. Let him play with the kitten. Ooh. Meow. Oh, they meow. brought a pet. Meow, meow, meow. Um. They on the steroids, bud. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Oh. 
good. So ah, oh. ah, oh, since song two. Oh, the finish! <laughs> oh, this was. Oh. <sighs> to hell with this. <laughs> oh. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Fuck! You what? Him. They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. <laughs> ah! <sighs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. You know what? Let's just burn the whole world down. Destroy, like, just kill everyone. Burn everything. Just leave us be. Change our name this to Frog Door. Home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. Fuck off, Jill. No, actually, she's right. We should go. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't mean that. After five years, did you guys finally had sex, though? Probably not. Well, that crystal is gone. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Wait, we can still go to the hideaway? What's left there? Bid you mirror, central storm. Like... <clears throat> Is there still anything? Like five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. <sighs> I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Where's Joshua? Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want 
And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. Rough times. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. The airship. That's the airship that Sid was talking about earlier in the game, right? Home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Open back, Sid. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. All right, then. <laughs> Cool, very nice. Sid, stay long this time. Hmm. Now we gotta get used to this place too. Oh, look, it's the, it's the bar. Oh, it's not the same. The other one was just called a Bard or the Bard or whatever. This one actually has a name. Oh, we got some new music too. Um, have we any more knuckle? Our terms? Oh, now we're playing our terms. Forevermore. Very nice. Is that it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, my bad. I should have just play, clicked on um, play. Right. We're gonna put this new one. A little update. <laughs> Perhaps I should just have black thought. Oh, hey, Kit. Hey, you survived, Karen. Is it business or pleasure? Ask about the hideaway. Wait, won't hear me complaining. It's even rumor than the old one was. Okay. Got my own stores, my own little counter. And thanks to you, a lot fighting for the good fight. Plenty of demand for me. The only mirrors. drawback. Could they not afford full uh, voice acting? <laughs> the cost of bloody racket, if it's not Doris and Otto barking their orders, it's Black Thor and Bardolph banging away day and night. Still, being in the earls, the price I have to pay to be Sid, the outlaw's partner in crime. I'd say I've got myself a bargain. <coughs> As about the five, five, past five years. Has it been really five years since we left the old place? How I remember flies? it like it was yesterday. Yeah, we were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome. And Kupka's lot <sighs> Yeah. No, nope, not that we know it was them. They just poured in like a plague of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere there was. And a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of it all. I'll never forget those cries. Try as I might. You're our leader now, Clive. Hmm. Promise me you won't let anything happen to that like that happen again. Promise me that come what may, Sid will save us. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Yeah, sure. I see you're still acting like Karen. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I not? Yeah, did I not get like a very super awesome thingamajig, right? Chandler's whispers, maintaining an ethereal charge, can prove as deadly. To a bear as unleashing the magic itself, these earrings are believed to assist in the channeling of aether by reducing the amount drawn from the body and augmenting it with ambient aether from the environment. Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effect will not trigger unless the ability charge magic is learned. Hmm. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> Crimson is the color of the blood that feeds my rage. Traditional battle invocation. Crimson tassels. Increase limit break generation amount by 3% when dealing damage. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 
Cobalt Tassels. Cobalt is the color of the blade that feeds my pain. Traditional Battle Invocation. Increase limit break generation amount by 6% when taking damage. Ooh. Limit break is really good. So these two would help us get our limit breaks very much quicker. <clears throat> and that's pretty good because it means a lot more damage, quicker damage, and not only that, but healing. Hmm, very nice, very nice, very nice. I don't know if I should buy them though. We don't have that much bunnies either. Elixir? Oh, that's expensive. What does Elixir do? Ooh. Oops, 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 my bad. Okay. Elixir, consumable. Affluent nobles obsessed with finding the secret to eternal life have created an unprecedented, <laughs> unprecedented demand for this quality herbal concoction. Heretofore, rarely used outside of battle. As such, its asking price has bloated to so great an extent that few soldiers can actually afford it. Instantly restores all hit points. Well, this is, um... Okay, I think I want... I want these. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Is that all? Does that one have blood on it? Wait, 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 wait. Can I sell stuff too? And what can I do for you? Go on then. I want to see if I can sell stuff. Maybe not these. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. So, do I have anything that is can be sold for Gil? I'm a thank That's you it. Got that, much. that one for 10. Hmm. Hmm. Is okay. that all? Okay. Hey, it's good. Five. Y you're back. You. You, uh, you didn't happen to run out of potions while you were away, did you? We've a fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutrement. I couldn't. Um, gear. <laughs> he sounds like me. <laughs> what you got, bro? Clive. Yes, what's up, man? So, what'd it be? Ooh, the Levin Bolt. Not bad. Yep. I do say so myself. Thank you, good sir. Very good, very good. And what about reinforcing? Can I reinforce anything? I don't think there's anything that I want to reinforce, though. Yeah, they don't seem to be better than what I currently have equipped. So, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, look at that! Ooh, it's a thunder sword. Ooh. Hmm. Well, very nice. Very, very good designs in this game. I'm just appreciating and looking and being at awe. Wait, what's this? Oh, is this my room? Wall of memories. The oath? The oath created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard transfixed with daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forge, and a legacy inherited. Wow. No, it's not expected that. That's very nice. It's very nice. Piece of candy! Alright. Yeah! So this is a kind of a cool new sweet sweet home, right? Is that it? Oh, we still got the edit stone. Alright, Otto, I'm on my way. All operations are suspended. Ah. Oh. There you are, Clive. How you been, man? One of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. 
I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Vivian! I... trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. Have we met her before? I don't well, think so. I say the same of you. Vivian Ninetales. Oh, she's a Pokemon. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekwa boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. Hmm. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now... As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. This was a lesson? Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was um, adequate. Oh, okay. This, this is... I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Yeah! Um... Hey, cool boy. Yeah, so I see that this is just showing me the new place and where people is. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Lawsman Harpocrates. 
Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. On gods and men. Hmm. A heavy leather-bound tome containing the findings of one Anaximander of Kenver, a renowned theologian who spent most of his life chronicling Valistia's diverse religious history. Hmm. There you go, bro. There's your book. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates, see if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. Wait, what? <laughs> Koopa! The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan yeah. took much from us that night. Oh. From some more than others oh he's gonna get what he deserves it's gonna come back to they haunt him one day quick to heal. which is why we must give them all the time they need that we must just as i must give you the time you need to recuperate good day clive we good will day. hey watch the mic we will one yeah, day we'll be back soon i should get some rest while we, we, yeah we will one day um give titan a, a taste of his own medicine right I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Tie you up. back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Taya. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Not a stolas. All right. Nice. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Bye, Taya. What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Once the hall swept, oh. it's over to the tavern crown for me. Is Gav gonna have an eye patch now? What is this? The reading table. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive and are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the, the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. The Republic's play! Hmm? The Re Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you're done to wear. Upon my return, Gav. Well, it seems glad Gav is blinded an eye now. He, he could have a knife patch. Right? What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But 
But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. I thought she was going to reach for Clive's hand. <laughs> but you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. What happened to him? He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Hmm. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Very great. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, meanwhile. Was that Joshua? Oh, and he still has his uh, maid slash helper slash something. The Norton Territories. They're in Canada. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this. Wow. This is far. Far worse than any could have imagined. Yeah. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Master Clive, a moment if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean oh. to... Intrude. His, um... Not at all. His reaction made uh, me we think they were... Discussing strategy. That they were doing something else. Speak freely, Otto. But it's obviously not it's not gonna happen. Year. She's gone missing. Anyway. I'll be in the mess when you finish. Oh no, not Martha! Very well. My darling Martha. We gotta go save Martha now. The gathering storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? Mm. I don't know. But guess what? I guess we'll find out in the next video. Swat up!
It's fucking lit.